Hey Nuggets, welcome back to my channel and today I'm rating your edits. Let's see how much you've improved and if you're new then I'm glad I'm seeing your edit for the first time and um, I am not roasting anyone if you're watching this type of video from my, on my channel for the first time. I am just telling them how they could improve, what I like about it and yeah that's basically what i'm doing in this video and yeah first up is her so it's nice it's not that bad um her hair could have been so much better honestly it i don't know it looks like she woke up in the morning and she was like i am just gonna have my hair like this because i'm a bad bitch <laughs> um yeah i still think it could have been better her highlighting on it looks okay and then she kind of missed out where else she drew out her hair on this morph edit so i'm gonna give her a four i would have given her a five because it kind of looks decent and yeah she only messed up on the hair um, her avi she highlighted that too much like you can see that harsh edit I mean harsh highlight and I can already tell what mode she used and it was the overlay mode they can make your highlights look really harsh and especially if you didn't repaint under your avi that much then it's gonna be really harsh so yeah make sure when it looks like that put the opacity down and yeah okay next we have this girl's morph edit and i keep telling her that she needs to put edges on her edit and she didn't put her head on the picture that well because her forehead is absolutely massive she looks like she came out of area 51 with that forehead that alien forehead now, okay now i'm roasting her i said i'm not gonna roast anyone i don't roast people it's edit anyways you get the idea so yeah she should have like um drew out more hair on her forehead and then did some edges like i told her before and she did not really edit her face she just put the picture on and then did this pixar edit okay i need to stop what is wrong with me anyway i'm gonna give her a three and i really hope she does better the next time okay the next person's edit i mean low-key she's kind of slick with this because she her avi skin matches the girl that's in the picture. Um, the edges look actually nice, and but it makes her forehead a little bit too big. And yeah, she should have completed doing this. And yeah, she gets a three as well. Her avi, her avi was cute though. Okay, next edit is actually cute. I just wish she didn't just I, uh, la, 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 la. I wish she shaded this um area going on and I wish she actually edited her Avi's face she didn't do that she just um made sure she ma I'm actually proud of her for actually trying to repaint the hair that's what you're supposed to do because most people would have left it I mean she actually tried so I'm gonna give her a six because I love how um, it kind of it actually merged nicely with this picture so I'm gonna give her a six. Ooh, I love this one I love it I can tell that she actually really watched my tutorial and I love how she repainted over the hair it looks really realistic to be honest this edit gets a 10 I love it Ooh, her edit is very cute i just wish that it was a bit more sharp like she could have sharpened the pick with a different app and it would look way better but there are some people that when they edit they have a bit of blur around the picture and all the focus is right on the face so that is what i kind of like about this edit her hair edit to be honest my hair edits used to look like this one 
the highlights was kind of similar but i see she would probably get better not probably i am giving her confidence well i'm i'm putting i don't even know what i'm trying to say i have confidence that she is going to do so much better than this this is a good try i really love it and yeah she should just work on her highlights and the way she shades in her pictures and make it sharper maybe she wasn't trying to make it look sharper like i said but yeah i'm gonna give her an eight on this edit damn okay so another person that did not do much with the morph edit so she put her face on she didn't repaint much on her face because if you don't have if you don't have a paint under your skin before highlights your highlights is gonna look like this girl's highlight right now she did not repaint over this body right now so that's why her highlight looks like that she did a good job on her hair though that's really good but i wish she blurred it out just a tiny bit more and not make it look like blocks of lines like that I don't even know what I'm trying to say. But basically, not make it look like huge white lines on the side. Or she could have just left the hair black. Because not all black hair needs lots of highlight. Unless if, if it's coloured hair, then you need to have some highlights in there. But with black hair, you can just repaint it black. You don't need to do the most with the highlights. I know, my God, the reflection. See, if you're a beginner don't have a morph edit that has a reflection because you're going to struggle and you're gonna forget about it and you're gonna post it and it's just gonna ruin your edit like hers you can just see the girl right in the reflection that just has me so dead anyways i am being nice <laughs> and i'm going to give her a one a two i'm gonna give her a two because um the highlight no you should have repainted over your avi your morph edit um i'm gonna give you credits for your hair though your hair edit is a five in my book but yeah comment down what you think about her edit if i was too harsh with it or whatever but i think i was being quite nice i'm not actually being rude right now <laughs> okay so the next picture is this girl's and it's cute um she did some highlight and then added a background i don't see anything else her avi is cute though so because her avi is cute and this is a really this is actually really cute i'm gonna give her a six but she should have done more with this like did something with her, her hair um you know but this is cool it reminds me of my old edits but the way i used to do it so yeah she gets a sick Ooh, i am very proud of this edit she did so good this looks really good and you know what to be honest she can start getting commissions because this is a really well done morph edit and i'm proud of it she did so good sorry if you hear the tv in the background because my brother just loves being loud anyway she did amazing i love the highlights i love it everything is perfect in this picture i cannot know what's so wrong she gets a 10 okay so i have seen like a few people that followed my mannequin tutorial and then showed me their results and i'm actually so proud of y'all you did such a great job and you actually tried a lot and I, I just love it. I love when you try to do it and not give up. There was this one person in the comments that said, can you put a link down to the new mannequin under the tutorial? Like, I did not make a whole tutorial for you, for you to just have a link to it in the description. Like, what is the point watching it if you're just wanting to take it? that really annoyed me because i took my whole time to do it even though it's not like the best but because also because i haven't really been practicing how to do mannequins that was just my idea of how i think editors do mannequins but yeah that was such a stupid comment because the only reason i was putting 
my order mannequin in the description was because I get why people wouldn't know how to do it and it was a while ago since I did the tutorial and I was going to do an updated one soon so I did put the older one in the description so that was really stupid of that girl to tell me to put the newer one that I made in the description under my tutorial of the mannequin which is so pointless and a waste of my time to me if I do that so yeah anyways onto her edit this is really good um the highlights are way too harsh though like she should have put the passy just a little bit down and shaded under the chin and yeah that's literally only the problem with this but the way she got it set up it's really nice but the cutout as well is a little bit uneven but you can't really tell that much if you look at it um the stand looks great the hair edit um yeah her problem here is highlighting too much she needs to have a good balance between her shading and her highlights but other than that she's actually doing really good and i'm gonna give her a six okay so i'm on to the next person that sent me a picture and i can't tell what she edited i think she was just sending me her avatar i'm not gonna rate it because i'm just rating edits not avatars i don't want people getting it mixed up here so yeah hmm there is not much to say with this edit um I love it though um, because Tyra just recently did an I'm for you morph tutorial on her YouTube channel and basically her morph had like a focus with just her face and there wasn't really much else to repaint on it because the person in the picture was fully clothed and yeah it was just her face and, and she repainted her hair and things like that so this is what this picture reminds me of um but her face is pretty plain like i don't think she wanted to do much with repainting her face so she needs to go practice on doing that more i'm gonna give her a six on this edit just because um it reminded me of tyra's okay so i actually kind of like the hair it looks really nice i wish she added more strands and oh the edges the edges oh my god um i don't even know what to say but the edges imagine if i was actually recording my face expressions whilst looking at this edit right now well the edges it's because her forehead is so plain because she didn't shade it so it makes the edges look really bad because it's also really far apart and yeah this is another problem with this edit she didn't shade much she just did like a little line on the side of her cheek and then just places where it sh should stand out instead of spreading it out more to look better and she didn't do it on her nose as well so it makes the highlight on her nose look really awkward so the highlights on her body look really awkward is what i'm trying to say like you're supposed to have like some type of base highlight before you do highlights that look like the one on her cheek but other than that the only thing i like about her edit is her highlight like i said um yeah she needs to work on shading like she needs to work on that really badly her hair edit is really creative and nice and it's cool i'm gonna give her a five four i'm gonna give her a four on this edit so her edit oh my god i love love the hair it's so nice so this is what i mean with highlights with black hair it should look like this and more spread out and not look like little blocks of lines and not too bright of white so like a gray kind of highlight on the hair it's so so cute it's very neat very neat okay so she needs to work on how to highlight blurring it too much makes your highlight looks like this and a bit dull and you know but I, it looks fine it doesn't look terrible but she's really good with that hair edit i really like it and i'm gonna give her a six on this edit okay now i am in my requests part of my messages because i got more on here of course and yeah 
I am actually trying to look through everyone's edits because no one is really going to watch a part two. So I like everything in one video and I'm pretty sure this video is not going to be that long. Okay, so her edit is actually really nice. You know when you use the blur tool and then you create this sharp effect? It's only nice around... Wait, never mind. I'm looking closer and it doesn't look like she did that. She should have blurred that out with the blur tool, not Gaussian blur. The blur tool. Because that does not look cute. It only looks nice around the boob area, but having that sh sharp look to it, it's so doesn't it's not that flattering on an edit i mean it depends but yeah and that highlight needs to be blended but she tried though she did so much more work on her avi's body than her face because it's like she forgot her fa her face out she just left it out completely or maybe she didn't and it just does not look noticeable that she did something other than that, I'm going to give her a 4 um, just to improve it because it looks half done and she should take her time more and practice. Okay, so this edit is really cute. I love the rainbow effect, the purple hair. Um, I really hate when edges look so thick because in real life, do your edges look thick like that when you put edge control and shit on it? Like, no, it doesn't. So why would you do that to your avatar? Make a hella thick edges on her forehead. Like, why are you gonna do her like that? Um, anyways, eyelashes look really nice. She should have shaded around her avatar's eyes. Um... And she should have did more shading around her eyes because it, it's too white and there isn't just white with, there isn't just the colour white around your avatar's eyes. So yeah, make it kind of look more realistic, do that. But other than that, your edit, her edit looks like a 5 to me. Actually, I'll give her a 6 because that rainbow is really nice. I feel like I have rated this before in the video. Because it doesn't look like I've seen this for the first time. But, um, it's really cute. It's really neat. And I wish she did more highlight around her fingers because it looks really dull. But I can see she did it like on the knuckles and stuff like that. But she should have done it like all of like on one single finger the hair is nice as well the glossy lip effect looks really cool i'm gonna give her an eight on her edit her reddit would have been so cute i mean i'm saying that because of how her hair looks the pose but uh there should have been more shading around her hands because the highlight really overwhelms it, if that makes any sense, and I don't know, it's just too much, the highlight is too much, and it's too harsh, like she needs to put it down a little bit, I don't like how it's in my face like that, and her, because it makes her, her whole Avi's face look really plain, the way it looks like that um her abby is cute anyway but i'm gonna give her edit a three if i was to rate her her avatar i'm not saying her avatar is ugly with the edit just because i gave it a three her avatar is literally an eight but her edit her hair edit looks like an eight as well but just just the way she repainted her avatar's body it looks really doesn't actually I'm not, i don't want to say really bad like i'm over it being dramatic but it's just bad and yeah i hope she improves and doesn't do too much with the highlight and work on how to do the shading around the fingers and most importantly her abby's face so i think she should start there and then try to go down and 
edit other parts so yeah this is jada if no one knew but she's more popular than me she's got more followers than me anyway um her edit is so cute so cute it's so good it's like um going through her page like just from last year she obviously improved a lot and i love love it like she's improving so fast and yeah just keep doing good on your edits you should um definitely like post more like me and teach me some of your techniques and other people that love your work yeah so yeah love you